This week's budget was brutal. There's a £55 billion black hole and we're going to have to pay for it with our taxes. But one thing that I don't get, there's a way to get loads of that money back and save thousands of lives. We build a time machine <laughs> and we kidnap Liz Joss. <laughs> I'm joking. Here's what we do, we decriminalise drugs. Now, I don't think people realise how much money's involved. If we do that, the country could benefit to the tune of nearly 20 billion every year. <laughs> That's over a third of the black hole. Let's do it. Britain gets rich, crime goes down. The only problem, King Charles will have to hide, cos if you're high, you're definitely going to try and eat his fingers. <laughs> so... So why don't we do this? Well, as soon as you suggest relaxing drug laws, Middle England reacts like this. Legalise drugs! If we do that, these skunk fiends will kill Ant and Dec, join ISIS and eat every baby they can find! <laughs> and because politicians want her vote, they're on the news going, we've got to get tough on drugs, let's get tough on drugs! Which is pretty rich when you consider there was evidence of cocaine in toilets near Boris Johnson's office. <laughs> Young Tories seen in Parliament Bar with cocaine hanging from their nostril, and a Tory MP snorted cocaine, stripped naked and groped women's breasts. It's shocking, isn't it? I can't believe they found cocaine in a place where overconfident people talk shit. <laughs> It's everywhere. One MP even posed for this photo. <laughs> he said it wasn't coke. I wish I'd been there for that. That isn't coke. Um, my gerbil <laughs> loves weightlifting and <laughs> he needs to talk up before he <laughs> ventures. <laughs> but this is serious. Cos the government's drug policies don't work. Drug deaths in Britain have gone up year on year for over a decade. We've got county line gangs, rehab centres full, and even children as young as eight pretending to be drug lords in school playgrounds. <laughs> eight years old. We used to play British Bulldog. <laughs> They're playing Colombian Crack Lord. <laughs> it's so bleak. We've got kids in play, we're like, Oi, Timmy, if you don't shift all my heroin, I'll kill your entire family. <laughs> now I gotta go, I got spelling. <laughs> You won't believe how they spell phlegm. <laughs> it's with a P. It's with a... <laughs> Perplegly, man. <laughs> they sell my drugs! It's... <laughs> Sorry, that was a bit much. <laughs> but it is ridiculous. Every country that's relaxed their drug laws have had good outcomes. Portugal, Switzerland, Czech Republic, Uruguay, Canada, Mexico, the Netherlands, the Dutch. Are they drug fueled monsters? No, they're friendly and weird. <laughs> they celebrate King's Day each year by playing a game called Nail Poops, <laughs> where they hang a nail from their arse and drop it in a <laughs> bottle of beer. <laughs> and here's what I love <gasps> no one knows why. <laughs> You're like, it's the King's birthday, I'll let's tea bag a bottle with some nails. <laughs> What do they do for the Queen? Let's sell a tape of spoon to our dick and stir their porridge. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! The point I'm making... Our government should be following these countries and their laws, but instead, we've still got the Psychoactive Substances Act of 2016, which was meant to crack down on legal highs, but ended up restricting the sales of all sorts of weird shit, including whipped cream and... Toads. Because <laughs> that's a problem, isn't it? That's not muck around. You probably had that happen to you on the way to tonight's show. There's a dealer on the corner. Do you want some amphibian? <laughs> I can't. I'm off my tits on lizard, mate. Don't. <laughs> it's ridiculous. We're throwing taxpayers' money away on this shit. And frustratingly, some Class A's are relatively harmless. A study finds mushrooms are the safest recreational drug. Legal drugs like tobacco and booze give you cancer and wreck your liver. What do mushrooms do? This is what mushrooms do. English just doesn't have the words to describe what it was like. But I was in a purple palace that was actually an octopus enveloping this beautiful living space. And it wasn't scary. It was beautiful. 
In the palace, I immediately met my dog Falcon. I hugged him, and I was able to emotionally connect with him. <laughs> and here is what booze does. <laughs> Aren't as safer, they might actually be medicinal. Listen to this. Research into the psychedelic chemical in so called magic mushrooms suggests it may ease depression in some hard to treat patients. But instead of focusing on that, we focus on headlines like this Man on five day drug binge found filling his hotel bathtub with potatoes <laughs> while wearing a bra. <laughs> Listen. If I was Lenny Henry, I wouldn't want to do those premiere in a food season. <laughs> now, what I'm saying is, we have a 55 billion black hole, and decriminalising drugs can not only save us 20 billion a year, it would also save lives, cut crime, and improve mental health. One of the biggest advantages, never mind the money, we could stop treating addicts as criminals and instead treat them as people who need help. It makes so much sense. Even... <laughs> even this... Lady agrees. Damn right, I took shrooms and I love this purple palace. And you know what? This nail poops is great fun. 